What's going on guys, Kamoy Martin here, live from Miami Beach. And listen, the question that people often ask me is, hey, what if in the lease it states that I cannot Airbnb this property? What if in the lease it says I cannot sublet? What does that mean? Does that mean I cannot do this business? And then also like on social media, I hear people say often, oh, renting out properties for your Airbnb business, it's illegal. That whole rental arbitrage thing, it's illegal, it's not allowed, it says it in my lease, and I get it, I get it. You don't know what you don't know, and maybe if you know, I wasn't so engaged in this business and I haven't been doing it for years, and I just maybe just heard it, on the internet, maybe I'll think the same thing. But here's what you have to understand. Just because you see something in a lease or a contract doesn't mean that it can't be changed. Everything literally in a lease or contract can be changed. So here's what I mean. It's not so much, you know, what's in, you know, writing. It's more so about the communication, the conversation, and the agreement with the landlord and the prop manager. So if you effectively communicate the nature of your business with a landlord and they're in agreement, they give you the green light, yes, you can utilize this property for your short-term rental business, then you guys can literally take the existing lease, make some edits, or you could take you know the lease that's already in existence, but then add an addendum to that lease, literally writing out the additions that you'd want to put on top of what's in the lease. Just so if you want to utilize the property of the short-term rental business, well, put that on the addendum. Anything that you may literally want that's again, either not in the lease or maybe there's some writing that it kind of like prevents you from doing it, you can put it on the addendum so that way you're protected, it's in writing that it's okay to utilize this property for your short-term rental business, for your Airbnb business, and there's no surprises. So again, guys, it's not about what's in the lease. It's not about what's in the contract. It's about what you have agreed upon with that landlord or property manager. Because the thing is, you don't have to be held back. You have to understand, it's so important to understand the right lingo, the right communication, um, to literally you know, convey what it is that you're looking to do with these people. Now, me personally, I do have a program, a step-by-step -step program on how to build a successful Airbnb business without owning any property. And within that program, I do have a script. I have a script on exactly what to say to landlords and prop managers so that way they'll give you a yes. So that way they'll allow you to utilize that property for your business. Now, is our business model for every landlord or prop manager? No, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's for everybody. No, it's not. But is there a lot of opportunity out here? Absolutely. Are there a lot of landlords and prop managers that's open to the idea? Yes. Matter of fact, very consistently, I have landlords and prop managers reach out to me looking to allow me to utilize their property for my business. And sometimes I take it or sometimes I'll even offer it to my students. So what, why do I share that with you? Because there's opportunity out here. So I want you to think big. I want you to think abundant. I don't want you to have a lot of just you know, mindset like other people have that there's shortage of opportunity or you can't do this, you can't do that. No guys, you can absolutely make money when it comes to this Airbnb and short-term rental industry. You just gotta educate yourself the right way. Whether you learn more from me and my programs and my coaching or you go to somebody else, at the end of the day, what's really the most important part is educating yourself so that way you know 100% what to do and that way you're confident and that you execute and you create the passive income that you want, travel all around the world, or just live life on your terms and make money. So guys, I look forward to you creating the success that you want. You deserve it. I'll see you guys at the top. See you guys in the next one. Let's get it. Let's go.